this is your season for a miracle from God. God is still in the children. God is still a miracle working God. God is still in time. Nothing is impossible with God. When you lift your hands towards heaven and believe God for the supernatural, you will see God working in your life. And know that it seems like the experience of life and the things that you're facing is not matching up with reality and with the things that you're going through. Let me tell you, experience only work with revelation. I believe that this is your season for you to receive a revelation from God that nothing is impossible with the God of Israel. Nothing is impossible with the God of Moses. Nothing is impossible with Jesus Christ, the mediator and the one that oversee your soul. And so tonight, as we are getting ready to pray, I want you to know your season, your best season is yet to come. I don't care what the devil do. I don't care what the adversary do. I don't care what the enemy try to put in you. I just want to remind you, no weapon, no missile, no attack, no witchcraft, no voodoo, no spell, nothing that the enemy put in you is going to keep you captive. Every plan of the enemy will be canceled in the name of Jesus Christ. Because that name is so powerful that every demons in hell fear that name. Why a lot of you is a lot of you are not getting your breakthrough is because the word that the man of God is speaking. The word of God is life and spirit. So if I speak a word and you that and you don't hold on to that word in the spirit realm and believe God for your miracle, nothing will happen in your life. The moment you said, I choose to believe the word, I choose to believe. That God is unchangeable, that God can give me a breakthrough, that God can give me a deliverance, that God can destroy the spirit of bandage. The moment you believe it is the moment it will happen. The moment you discredit the word of God and believe that you don't have to listen to the word of God, the moment you say, I don't have to listen. I don't have to obey the word of God. And you discredit the word of God. Many folks are talking. They said, we are man and woman of God. I'm not knocking that. You are man and woman of God. But there is a prophetic word that is only the prophet can unlock in the spirit realm. There is a word for you a word to turn your life, a word to turn the captivity, a word to destroy every spirit of bandage, a word to pull you out of hell, a word to change your life, a word of transformation, a word of deliverance, a word of breakthrough. There is a word from the Lord. That God is well able to deliver you. Tonight, as I'm going to pray for you, I just don't want you to listen to me praying. But I want you to receive what is in the spirit realm. Because the word of God are life and spirit. 
spirit. The enemy tried to stop me tonight from praying for you. The enemy tried to stop me. Glory be to God. But I believe the word of God. Father, in the name of Jesus, you know whatever the plan of the enemy is tonight. I bind it in the name of Jesus. Come on, Father. And I release your children tonight from every negative words, every demonic forces, every principalities and power. I bind it in the name of Jesus. I break the stronghold of darkness. I command yoke to be destroyed. I command yoke to be reversed. I command yoke to be broken in no other name but the name of Jesus. As I'm talking to you, there's somebody that been out of their work for over six months. And as I'm talking to you right now, my screen is going to be clear in just a moment because the enemy is trying something tonight but i speak a prophetic word and i speak to my computer on jive i speak to everything in my computer it must work for god Shama. there is somebody that been out of a job for over six months going into the seven month and the seven month mean the word, uh, the number seven mean perfection. God want me to remind you that he'll give you a confirmation by a prophet. And this is the seven month. And if the door do not open for you for that job, you will be out on the street. But I decree and declare tonight that after I pray for you, there is a supernatural door that's going to be unlocked in the spirit realm. There is a supernatural door that's going to be open in the spirit realm. Father, right now, I'm coming before you. God and I we sin in our thoughts and our mind. Forgive us for all our sin. Make us brand new. As I'm going to release this supernatural door, Sister Samantha, Sam, I've got to pray for you. Give me a minute. But as we, as I'm going to open this supernatural door, not me by myself, but the Spirit of God, for your job, for your job. You've been jobless for a while. And it's time for the supernatural door to be open for your job. I want you to do something for me tonight. I want to pray for Sister Robinson. You've been going through a tough time. And I'm going to deal with you tonight because the enemy been trying to block you for a while. But as I'm going to pray for you, I'm going to pray for two persons. I'm going to pray for two persons right now that need a job. And I'm not talking about somebody that think that they need a job, but they don't really need a job. I'm talking to you that need a job. And I'm going to pray for you. First, I want to pray for Sister Samantha, and I want to pray for, I also want to pray for Brother Award, but in just a moment. But I also want to pray, hallelujah, for Sister Robinson, hallelujah. She been going through a difficult time. And what God showed me in the spirit realm, what I've been fighting you is spirit of power and witchcraft. 
that you must not possess nothing. You must not receive nothing from God. The spirit come to oppose you. Simple mean that they are not just there, Sister Robinson, to stop you, but they are there to oppose your movement and your financial breakthrough. But I want you to do something for me tonight because God is about to give you a release. And I believe that these demons that come by your house to oppose your life, after tonight, that spirit will be broken. And I mean it. I mean it. I am so serious about this. I mean every word that I'm speaking. I want you to lift your hands, Sister Robinson. Hallelujah. And I want you to say, Father, bless thee now. And as you lift your right hand and say, Father, bless thee now. I'm going to unlock the door in the spirit realm for you. I see three doors in the spirit realm. One door is the door of poverty. One door is the door of witchcraft. And the next door is the door of bandage. Those three doors will be opening tonight. And God is about to do it. Believe God for those three door. Three door. Three B's. Three door, three B's. Three watchmen have set over those doors to stop your life. You've been going through a hard time. A tough time. The enemy tried to oppose you in every way that you try to make it. And I see the enemy want to bring in your relationship a breakup. But it ain't gonna happen. Lift your hands. Father, as we come before you tonight, you know the three door that is closed in the spirit realm for Sister Robinson and Father Rekoshama Ibasia Etokoshibaya Matokoshiba Satai. Father in the spirit realm, there is three manifestations. Manifestation of the Son, manifestation of the Spirit, and manifest, uh, manifestation of the Father. Right now in the Spirit realm, I send the three manifestation like a thunder to open those doors. And in the name of Jesus, I release Sister Robinson from every bandage. In the name of Jesus. Sister Robinson, there is a pain that sometimes it's your right foot. Itoshiba. And as I'm looking in the spirit, Ikoshababa Suta. Itoshama. Matokoshibaya. As I'm looking in the spirit, God is about to do something supernatural in your life. The enemy try to stop you 
in every way. But after tonight, it is done. Get ready. Lift your hands. Get ready. Door of witchcraft. I command you to open. Door of poverty. I command you to open. Door eko shama satai. Eko shibasia. Door of bandage. Eko shababa sutai. I command you to open. And now release eko shaba. The things that is Sister Robinson. Her mind is free. Eko shababasia. Her heart is free. Eko shibasai. Her soul is free, Eko Shama, and her finance is free in the name of Jesus Christ. Receive it. I just saw the door open. Just saw the door open. There is treasure that God is about to invest in you. Your life is not over, Sister Robinson. All hope is not gone. You cry, sometimes go to your bed. But the Spirit of God said, I'm going to open new door. I'm going to open new way. You feel like nobody's on your side. Sometimes. And you're saying, why? I got to go through this. There is a purpose and your life. There is a purpose and your life. There is a purpose and, and a vision that God has for your life. And get ready because it's going to be released in this season. If you think I'm lying, by this time tomorrow, there will be people call you and you will get word of encouragement and God will send people to speak into your life. And by this time tomorrow, I decree in the atmosphere that every, every burning, every overwhelmed spirit that lay upon you, it will God. And I decree by this time tomorrow, there will be somebody that's going to give you a breakthrough lump sum. I'll give you some money by this time tomorrow. You will not go down, but you will get back up. And I speak this word into the atmosphere. And if you grab that word, you going to fulfill your vision, your purpose that God called you to fulfill. Hallelujah. God bless her. Cover. I'm not screaming tonight. I'm not going to pray loud tonight. Sister, a brother award, as I'm talking to you in the spirit, Rem, I want to pray for you because many times, you are actually caught up in the wrong environment. Hallelujah. What I mean by the wrong environment is doing the wrong thing. And listen, God want me to pray for you, brother Award, because God, I have invest something in you. And what God have invest in you is his gift. Get ready because God is going to use you to reach the dope addict, to reach the prostitute, and to reach the gangbanger. Get ready because God is going to use you in one of the most despair time in America. You will start to hear the voice of God clearly. And what you've been asking God for in this season. 
You've been asking God to speak to you. And God said, I heard your prior in your prior closet. And what you have asked for me, it will be granted. And the Spirit of God said, I will speak to you through my word. If you study my word, I will make you one, one of the biggest evangelistic man or evangelist in the earth realm. God said study. God said pray. And I will use you in the supernatural. God said you will lay hands on the blind and they will see. You have not stepped into your calling yet, brother, or Lord. Your calling is higher than you. Your calling is greater than you. When God and you ain't going to shout like the prophet, you ain't going to scream like me, because I'm me. You know, I'm shouting. God used me in a different way. But there is going to be an anointing up in your life, brother, Award for restoration to the nation of America. Restoration. Restoration. I see a Koshama. I see your laying hands and secret agency and they are being saved. They just surrender to God. I see you changing life. And let me tell you, your best season is ahead of you. Don't let the devil tell you that God won't do it. Because God is going to do it. Hallelujah. Your intellect, your spiritual insight is about to start growing. You're about to be developed. You're about to become this spiritual giant for God. And you will not be normal. There will be many persecutions that come with the favor and the anointing that God is about to put up in your life. But God said, blessed are those that are persecuted for righteousness sake. Listen, brother Ward, as I'm talking to you, there is many people around you that act like they're with you, but they are not with you. Because why I know that? Because I've seen the spirit realm. When you tell them your vision and your dream, they look at you like you're crazy. But this is the time for you to stay in the word. Because you're going to be a radio station. Before I die, Ikoshama, Itoshaba, before I ever leave this world i will see you and tv preaching this gospel before i leave this world i will see you and tv preaching this gospel you can take that word anywhere you go if you don't have nothing else just remember that the man of God, if you don't want to call me a prophet, if you want to call me Sheldon, it's all right. Just remember that the man of God give you a word. And that word will not die. It will live on and accomplish what God called it to accomplish. Tonight, I want to talk to a few people. So if you need me to pray for you, glory be to God. If you need me to pray for you, hurry up and dial that number. Hurry up and 
Brother Award, I'm going to pray, finish pray for you. God have his hands on you. Just stay focused. Stay focused, please. Stay focused. If you need me to pray for you, if you need to know what, where I'm going, where is my next step, where God, what God want me to do. I'm not saying God is going to reveal everything to me. I'm just saying, tonight is the night that I just want to talk to you. I just want to speak to your spirit. I've been getting crazy testimony because now God don't even have me prophesying too much. He said, just speak the word and whoever can hold on to that word and believe the word they shall receive. They shall receive. Tonight, the number to call. If you need me to pray for you, it's 917-889-3867. And I can take as much call tonight. If you want to call in, you can call in. Let me pray with you. The grace of God is sufficient. To keep you from falling. Hallelujah. You need a breakthrough. Don't you need a miracle in your life? The rain. The rain of God. Is about to rain. The glory is about to rain in you. I'm telling you. Call right now. If you need me to pray with you, to pray for you, to speak to you, if you feel like there is three people that a door need to be open for you for a job supernaturally, you must pick up the phone and call tonight. You must pick up the phone. Let me pray with you. There's three people. Three more people. Sam and Sam. I'm going to pray for you in a little. Sam, there is three people that need a breakthrough. Come on. Pick up the phone and call in. Let me pray for you. Glory be to God. Call in tonight. I want to pray for. Hallelujah. 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 Glory be to God. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. Hold on. I got a caller. Bless the Lord. Call you alive. Yes, I would like for you to pray for me for protection and guidance. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Protection and guidance. Where are you calling from? Louisiana. Amen. Glory be to God. Louisiana. I want you to know that as you call tonight there will be angel that is about to encamp around you and in this season no enemy no forces no principalities that come up to your life shall prevail And I believe God that there will be a supernatural angel that will follow you around for the rest of your life. 
Glory be to God. Praise Him. Glory be to God. Glory. Father, in the name of Jesus, as our sister calling from out of Louisiana, waiting for a miracle from God. Hallelujah. The presence of God is about to fall in you. Lift your hands up, woman. You just don't need the protection, but you need the present. Lift your hands up high. Okay, there you go. Said Jesus. I need your present. I need your present. Right now. Right now. All right. Hallelujah. Receive it. I receive it. Thank you, Lord. You know, you're close. Receive it. I receive it. Say it again. I receive it. That sound like Methodist. Say it again. I receive it. I receive it. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. The presence of God is overshadowing you. Oh, thank you. I want you to say, in three, I want you to say, Jesus. One, okay. two, three. Jesus. Come on. One, two, three. Say Jesus. Jesus. Amen. Jesus. Let's pray for you. Father Rico Shama, you ask right now for peace and liberty. And we cover you under the blood right now in the name of Jesus. We up. We overturn and pull up every plan and every assignment of the devil and we release a supernatural angelic being to surround you and to abide over your life. In the name of Jesus, the breakthrough is yours. Hallelujah. 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 Who you want to be saved? Do you have somebody that you want to be saved? Yes, my children. I see you've been praying. Guy named Philip. What is yes. the What is their name? Chadwick, Kashanda, Jaquila, Shakira, Philip, and Jody. All of them is in sin. Get ready. Something is going to take place. Is a. Thank you, Jesus. I said, get ready. Something is about to take yes. place. Hallelujah. I'm going to tell you by this time next year, you will have testimony and testimony and testimony. Call the name in the atmosphere again. I want you to call the name. Hold up. I want you to call the. Hold on. I want you to call the name. And when you call the name, I want you to say, I give them to God. Okay. Go ahead. I give her to God. Chatwit, I give him to God. Shakita, I give her to God. Jody, I give him to God. Philip, I give him to God. Echo Shama. Stop there. I heard God said, Philip. Yes. Philip. I need to deal with Philip. There is something special about Philip. 
Where, okay. where is Philip living? With me. There is something special about him. There is an anointing that rests around Philip. Okay. Thank you, Jesus. Philip, Philip. Belongs to the Lord thy God. Thank you, Lord. Philip, Philip, I call you out of sin. And I give you to God tonight. Thank you, Lord. Tonight. Thank you, Jesus. Tonight. Thank you, Lord. Not next week, tonight. And I believe. That Philip will preach the gospel of Jesus Christ. All is Philip. Can you tell me his age? Sir. What is the age of Philip? Thirty-seven. Glory be to God. It's time. I pray that whatever bound him, because do any of your family smoke? Yes. I see a smoking spirit. Yes. The three of my children do. Whatever bound them, it have no chain over them. I'm going to break that in the spirit realm. And I'm going to believe God. That God is about to release. Them from that smoking Thank habit. As I speak in the atmosphere. The word that I speak. They are life and spirit. So the word that I speak. They bring life. And they are spirit. I speak to every spirit that all your son and your daughter in bandage and I command them to be broken off of them in the name of Jesus and I release your daughter and your son in the spirit realm Ekoshama. by the blood of Jesus Christ he said, I have come to set the captain free, to loose the prisoner, and I call your son and your daughter out of prison tonight in the name of Jesus. They are out of prison from tonight. Sin have no chain over them. Sin have no chain over them. If you believe this word, O man of God, by December, by December, God shall manifest his glory. I don't care how God bring them. If God got to meet them in the road of Damascus, there must be a transformation. If you believe this word, I'm believing by December for three of your son or your daughter must surrender to God. In the name of Jesus. Thank God. Glory be to God. Thank you, Jesus. Listen to me. Thank you, Lord. Amen. God bless you. Cover you. God bless you. There is somebody tonight that need a miracle in their life. Hallelujah. God bless you. You are bound. You are bound by smoking. And God need to free you. I see you crying in your room. Saying, I go to church, but I do it after church. I cannot get away from this smoking spirit. I cannot break this smoking spirit. I try. But it won't happen. I try, but I can't live right. 
There are two spirits that I'm seeing right now. As I'm talking to you, there is a spirit of masturbation or pornographic, whatever you want to call it, sex movie. And there is the next spirit that I'm seeing, spirit of smoking. And that spirit need to be broken. Those two spirit got somebody locked up. Eko Shama. And God said your soul need to be released. Your soul need to be released. I know who I'm talking to tonight. I'm not going to call you out. But if you got that spirit that lock you up, that you're smoking and you cannot get rid of that smoking spirit, call in tonight. Tonight is the last night you're going to smoke. Tonight is the last night you are going to smoke. Tonight is the last night you are going to watch Um sex movie behind the scene tonight is the last night you must be free who are you talking to i see somebody in the spirit realm you don't want to watch it but your boyfriend and your husband want to watch it they need to be delivered they need to be delivered they need to be delivered. Your husband need to be delivered. Your son need to be delivered from that spirit. Every time they go and look at it, it will get them sick. Hakushama. God is about to release somebody from the spirit of porn and from smoking. I told you, dial that number, let me pray for you. I ain't guessing. This is not a guess. This is not a guess. There are somebody tonight that need to be prayed for, that is tied up with the spirit of smoking. Ikoshama. The devil got a strong hold in you. God want to release you. God want to release you. God want to release you. I don't just pray. I just don't shout. I'm here to bring deliverance. Sis All right, brother Howard. Your wife got a smoking spirit. Tonight is going to stop. Tonight is going to stop. Tonight is going to stop. Do you mean that? Yeah, I mean it. I'm going to pray for your wife. I want you to put your wife's name in the comment box. We're going to pray for her tonight. You don't have to put her full name. Just put her first name. We're going to pray for her tonight. She needs to be delivered. She need a breakthrough. Hey, God. Hey, Jesus. That spirit, that, the spirit of pawn, it tied up that person's mind. You need to be set free from it. You need to be set free. Hallelujah. I'm going to pray for your wife right now, brother Owen. Father, in the name of Jesus, we know that all things are possible with you. The God of eternity, Ekoshama, before the first and the third generation, you are God. And there is nothing to add, Ekoshama Masia, that you can do. Tonight we give you a koshama 
our request that brother award wife is 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 smoking and cannot give it up but after tonight god i pray that brother award don't have to fight with eko shabai with his wife but after tonight brother award smoking will taste bitter to your wife eko shaba and i pray that god eko shibaya will reveal himself to your wife in this season you will not fight with her no more about smoking smoking will fight against her oh god eko shaba i said smoking will fight against her every one of you that are a smoker and you cannot stop smoking smoking will fight against you after tonight eko shabai because it is about to become your enemy eko shababasia father in the name of jesus I send the angel of God to right now to arrest Eko Shabaya. Every person that is a smoker, every man and woman that love to smoke, that is addicted to smoke, I break that spirit in the name of Jesus. And I command the angel of God to arrest your hands you will not smoke no more that spirit that come from hell and tell you that you got to smoke i reverse it in the name of jesus and you are set free get ready there is going to be a big change in some of your life tomorrow I see five people is going to get up. Look at your wife. Look at your boyfriend. They will get up tomorrow about this time. And they will not smoke. There is a spirit of God that is breaking smoker and give them the spirit of liberty. I said tomorrow this time, your wife and your husband that love to smoke is going to put the, the weed or the uh, cigarette to their mouth and they're going to start vomit. They're going to start chewing up because there is about to be something that's about to happen in the spirit realm. There is about to be something. Take this, write it down, and put it in your diary because it's going to happen. God is about to shut the mouth of those that love to smoke. All of you that I'm talking to that is addicted to porn. I'm going to break that spirit tonight. It's a spirit. All of you that is addicted to porn. What time is it? Give me. I'm going to break that spirit tonight. You will not watch no porn. Uh, uh, no porn and your computer. And your TV. Because something supernatural is going to happen. And I mean it. Your computer is about to start acting up. Your TV is about to start acting up. What I'm going to do tonight, I'm going to shut down the headquarter of demonic spirit of porn. All of you that watching sex movie, 
You don't need to watch sex movie to have a drive for your wife and your husband. That's a lie. I'm going to break it tonight. 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 Glory be to God. I feel the anointing. Every one of you that is string out, you can't do without that sex movie. It's going to be broken. It's going to be broken. It's going to be broken. Father, do you ready? Do you ready? Do you ready? When your boyfriend or your husband that is not saved start to look at it, you're going to get mad. You're going to get upset. You're going to get angry. You're going to get bitter. He's going to ask you what happened. The Holy Spirit is about to take over your mind tonight. Get ready because we're going to shut down this thing. I decree because while I was talking, God said, decree in the atmosphere that none of your daughter will be a stripper. None of your daughter and your son will be a stripper. I shut down that system. I shut it down in the name of Jesus. We're going to break that spirit. Get ready for release in the spirit realm. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. Father, in the name of Jesus, to you we have authority. You said whatever we bind in earth is bound in heaven. Whatever we loose in earth is loose in heaven. So if you said that, Father, we ain't going off our revelation, but we are going off of the kingdom. And hold on, Carl, I'm going to pray for you in just a minute. And the revelation of God, he calls Shabbat. And so in the name of Jesus, right now, I command that anytime you turn on your computer to look at any nasty video, I command the stream and the computer to shut down in the name of Jesus. It calls Shababasia. I command your TV to shut down in the name of Jesus. I command the headquarter of demonic forces of porn and sex movie to shut down in the name of Jesus. And I command you right now, let it go. It goes Shabbat. I command you to let it go. I feel the anointing of God. I command you to let it go. I want you to let it go right now. Come on, devil, and take your hands off them. In the name of Jesus, I bind the spirit of porn. I bind the spirit of porn. I release their mind from it. I release their hands from it. I release their spirit from it. I release their sex drive from it. In the name of Jesus, I break it. I break it. I break it. And I bind it in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. After tonight, there will be a change in your life. Caller 716. There will be a change in your life. Your life. 716-248. Caller, are you there? Yeah. Bless the Lord. You're alive. What is your prior request tonight? Okay. Hallelujah. You got something else to tell me. Tell me what else you called me to tell me. What are you? Family. What? What was that? Family too. Family. Then speak up. 
Glory be to God. Father, in the name of Jesus. What is your name? Theodore. Glory be to God. Theodore, I want to ask you one thing. Do you have anybody in your life that have a smoke habit? What was that? The, um, the, the, the mother of my children. I'm going to ask you again. Do you know anybody that got a smoke habit? Yeah. Who is it? Who is it? Denise. Denise. All right, we're going to pray for her. We got to break these things, ladies and gentlemen. We got to break these things. We cannot let the devil take in over our community. We cannot allow the devil to take over our property. We cannot allow the devil to take over our children. We cannot allow the devil to take over America. We are giant in the spirit realm. And whatever we bind on earth is bound in heaven and the devil got to run out of town. When Jesus showed up, because there is no other name where man must be saved by, but the name of Jesus. And if we believe the doctrine and the truth of Jesus, Jesus said whatever we bind on earth is bound in heaven. And whatever we loose on earth is loose in heaven. It's either you believe it or not. But it's time for you to know that you bound whatever you bound on earth. Is buying up in heaven. And whatever you lose in heaven, it got to be loose. So tonight, we're going to loose you. And we're going to loose your body from pain. We're going to speak strength into your body. We're going to speak the power of God into you. And get ready because it's going to happen. This ain't no guess. I ain't guessing no more. I know who Jesus is. He's the savior of the world. I know who my creator is. He's powerful. Almighty. Woman of God. I don't know, but as I was talking to you, do you know anybody feeling a pain in their right foot? Or right feet, I should say. Okay, you got a pain in your right feet. Going down to your uh, joint, to your, actually to your feet, ankle bone, going right there. That pain is going to be leave tonight. It's about to leave you. That pain is about to leave you and is already gone. I don't have to pray. It's gone. I said that pain is gone. Glory be to God. Do you feel any pain? No. Glory be to God. I don't know. I'm asking you this. Did you feel the pain before? Yes. You feel the pain before. Because while I was talking to you, I was feeling a pain, and I feel it shoot down my right feet. I don't know if it's your right foot. But, I feel a pain in my right foot, and the same time I speak about that pain, it gone. There is power in the name of Jesus. You don't have to fight. Poof, pain is gone in the name of Jesus. Every one of you tonight that is listening to me, that got pain in your knees, is about to leave you right now. Do you ready? Somebody got a pain in their knees and God said 
that pain is about to leave you right now. Every pain that you're facing, every pain that you have tonight is about to leave you. Lift your hands up. Every one of you. I'm not, I'm, you don't even have to call in. You don't have to call in. I must speak the word and the word and I speak their life and their spirit. Right now, Sister Jansen, yeah, right now, that said, I think that's her name. Yes, that's me, both knee. All right, right now, that pain is going to leave those knees. Father, in the name of Jesus, we command those pain to be removed by the angelic being of heaven. And in the name of Jesus, you are healed. That pain is gone. That pain is gone. I'm not asking you. I'm telling you. There ain't nothing that you can't do in the name of Jesus. You don't need to play with the devil. You speak to the devil and speak the word of God and he got to obey. Hallelujah. Woman of God, right now, I squeeze virtue into you. I squeeze the power of God into you. I squeeze a fresh wind and your bone shall be strengthened. How do you feel? Talk to me. I didn't hear you. I did not hear you. What did you say? Amen. Glory be to God. The pain disappear. It's gone to hell. We don't we don't tolerate what the devil say. I'm blessed. I'm the head. I'm the lender and not the borrower. I have overflow. I'm going to get all that God said is mine. I am rich. I am I have more than enough. I am healed. I am delivered. And tell the devil that I am healed. And I am delivered in Jesus' name. You are healed tonight. Every person that I'm talking to that is sick, deliverance just touch you. Every person right now that is going through financial difficult, we don't respect the devil. The devil respect us. And we are child of God. And so you are healed tonight. Glory be to God. Thank God for, I know somebody, arthritis. I don't know where that come from. Somebody, arthritis, is troubling you in your right hand. Your right hand, okay? Arthritis. I don't know where it's coming from. But. That arthritis is gone in the name of Jesus. I want you to do something for me tonight, woman of God. I want you to say, I cover myself under the blood. I cover myself under the blood. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Because the enemy Amen. is going to try to touch you, but it won't happen. Because God is covering you. God bless you. I feel tonight that there is 25 people that's going to get a supernatural breakthrough by the end of this month. Are you ready for it? Are you ready yeah. for your supernatural breakthrough by the end of this month? God bless you, woman of God. Thank you for calling. God is about to release supernatural breakthrough in your life. I prophesied to five people at this month, you will get the car key. I want to prophesy to five people at this month, you will get the car key. I just said it. You will get the car key. And I want to prophesy to five more people. By the end of this year, you will have your house. 
You will pay no more rent. No more mortgage. Not mortgage, but no more rent. No more lease. Because God is about to give you express deliverance. Receive it or deny it. You cannot stop the word. A woman of God, a few days ago, glory be to God. And she said, man of God, you was prophesied in giving a prophetic word. Actually, hallelujah. You posted a prophetic word on YouTube. And I got the eviction notice. But I hang on to the words. Eko Shaba. That's a miracle. The only thing that you can hold on to. Is the word of God. She said I hold on to the word. You know. Let me tell you this. And, and I'm finishing. There come a point in your life. That you will have to believe the man of God. Because the problem is. When your back is against the wall. You can either believe the word. Or deny the word. But if you believe the word. You get your breakthrough. If you deny the word, you stay in your position. The word of God is powerful. Everything was created by a word. First John verse one said, in the beginning was the word and the word was with God and the word was God and dwell amongst men and we beheld the glory of the only begotten son. But listen to this. Jesus said the word that I speak. They are life. And spirit. Listen to this. Spirit. Things that you're speaking. Out of your mouth. Is life. And spirit. So when you speak the word of God, you're speaking life to somebody. And because man is not just physical being, they are spiritual being, you are speaking to their spirit. And your word will fight the warfare for you. Because the word is God. I believe you're living in the best season of your life. The children of God. With all the things that's going on. We need to just believe God. I'm not worrying. Jesus can take care of you. I want to take two more calls. I, if you want to call in. And my time is almost up. I would take two more call because the word of God is quick, it is sharp. The word of God, save. And today, if there is somebody that listening to me that have not accepted Jesus as their Lord and Savior, I ask you please to turn and give your life to Jesus. That you can be baptized in the name. And receive the name of Jesus. And receive his spirit. To protect you. And to guide you. And to get ready for the eternal kingdom. God love you. And God will is not for none to perish. Hallelujah. God love you. Hallelujah. I think I have a call. Give me a minute. Glory be to God. Caller, where are you calling from? Hello? Bless the Lord. Praise the Lord. Pastor Carl from Florida. Amen. What is your prior request tonight? I need a deliverance. Please, prior for deliverance. And also, 
soul for my husband. He needs salvation and deliverance. And for my youngest daughter, she's been baptized since last November, last May, and she's working on backsliding right now. So I'm needing her to go closer. God to pull her back closer. Amen. She ain't going to backslide. I want you to call her name. Shanique Brown. Shanique Brown. Father, in the name of Jesus, put a hook and Shanique Brown. Right now, Jesus. Right now, Jesus. Right now, Jesus. Remove every blockage from around her. In the name of Jesus. I'm going to pray for her. I'm going to pray for her. She's young. The enemy is trying to devour her. But it will not work. Hallelujah. Father, in the name of Jesus, supernatural God of heaven, you know Shanik Brown by name. And in the name of Jesus, she shall be saved. No man shall pull her out of your hand. Father, breathe a fresh touch up in her. Touch her mind. Touch her spirit. In the name of Jesus. Right now, it is done. Father, I touch this woman. Turn me down in the back. I heard myself. Father, I touch this woman. Glory be to God. From the crown of her head to the sole of her feet. Yes. Anoint her with a fresh anointing. Yes. Use her for your missionary. Yes. Father, I pray now. That whatever blockage. Yes. That come against her. It shall be broken. In the name of Jesus. Father, cover her now. And release her. It is done in the name of Jesus. God bless you. Praise God. Thank you. Thank you. God bless you, Pastor. Amen. I want to take a few more calls. My time is almost up. Got some stuff to do. Uh, but I want to take a few more calls. Dial that number. Caller, you're still there. Glory be to God. Dial that number. And I want to pray for you tonight. I need to bind the spirit of suicidal. Why, God? Somebody is listening to me. And the devil is trying to take your mind away. Ah. Ah. My God, my God. The devil wants you to lose your mind. But God said it will not happen. It will not happen. Your mind belongs to God. Your mind belongs to God. I want to pray for two more person. You can either dial that number now. Call in for your husband. If he's a marijuana smoker, tobacco chewer, I don't know what he is. Call in, let us pray for him. We ain't leaving nobody out. Because the devil don't leave nobody out. We ain't leaving the dope addict, the prostitute, the liar. We want you all in the kingdom of God. I don't care where you're from. The devil don't care what nation you're from, what, uh, uh, what kind you are. The devil wants you all in hell. And so I don't care what nation you're from. You Spanish, give your heart to Jesus. 
You're African American, give your heart to Jesus. You're American, I don't care where you're from, what town you're from. I want you all to be saved and to be in the kingdom of God. Glory be to God. If you only speak two words in English, I get a translator. Glory be to God. But the kingdom of God must be that God will must be done and that God love you. You that is going true right now. You that is going true. I want to pray. And, and this is the last thing I'm going to pray for. Somebody. Right now. Listen to me carefully. You that only got $200. In your bank account. Some of you only got $50 in your bank account. Call in, let me pray for you. I believe God want to change your season. God want to bless you, child. There must be at least $5,000 of three, $4,000 must be in your account. God want to give you restoration. Call in, let me pray for you. You that need your bank account. You don't understand. Every time you put money in your bank account, it is gone. You use it as you try to save. You end up spending that money again. Call in. You cannot save nothing. Call in. You cannot save a dime. Every time you put that money in the bank account, you end up spending it back. I need you to call him. I need you to call him. That is having a money problem. I want to pray for that and I'm close off. You see, the enemy just don't mess with your life. The enemy mess with your bank account. The enemy mess with your finance. The enemy mess with your money. He want your soul, but he want everything that you have too. Before the enemy touch Job, listen to me carefully. Before the enemy touch Job, and I'm almost finished. The enemy take all that Job have. If I can put him in poverty, he's going to curse God. If I can make him go through financial difficult, he can't be happy. But Job's happiness wasn't in money. But the enemy attack your finance. Why? Why is your finance being attacked? Why is my finance being attacked? Let me tell you. Let me tell you why. Listen to me carefully. Your finance is being attacked because you are a sustainer to the kingdom of God. What that mean, man of God? You are the one that finance the ministry of somebody and the more you finance and help the ministries the more the gospel reach around the world listen to me so what the enemy do the enemy attack your finance because if he can stop you from being financially wealthy and having money to sustain the kingdom and the gospel from being preached, lesser soul is going to hear about Jesus. What the enemy purpose and plan is for soul to not hear 
about the man called Christ Jesus. So the enemy attack your finance because he don't want the gospel to be, to go across the world, I should say. He don't want you to sustain the kingdom of God. So what the enemy do, every time you give money, the enemy attack your finance order. Oh, glory be to God. I feel something in here. Every time you give a blessing, you find out that your finance is supposed to go up, but it's going down. Why? Because the enemy is attacking your finance because the enemy don't want you to believe the word that the man of God give you. And so the enemy don't want you to know that there is a breakthrough is coming for you. So he attack you, he attack you, and he keep on attacking your finance because he don't want you to sustain the kingdom of God. He don't want you to help the gospel to reach across the world. Because if the gospel reach on the TV, somebody's going to be saved. The enemy plan is to keep the gospel from being preaching. You remember Paul when he was in jail? He said, Satan, I've hide me. What that mean? And Paul was writing in letter. He said, Satan, I've worked with people to actually lock him up in jail because the gospel was preaching. And the enemy will try to lock up your finance for you not to sustain the kingdom of God. The enemy will just tell you that preacher only need money because the enemy know the moment you start to sustain the kingdom of God is the moment people are going to hear about Jesus and come and accept him as their Lord and Savior. Do you know, and I'm getting out of here, because it's almost two hours now. But do you know that the enemy, one of the most thing that the enemy are, the thing that the enemy attack the most is your finance. Why? Finance is play a big role in your life. The enemy know once the kingdom of God become wealthy, the word of God is about to be across the world. The enemy don't want that. He try to crush your finance. Crush your finance. And you know what the enemy want you to do? He want you to have unbelief. So the word that the man of God give you, you doubt it. And what he come and do? He plant seed of doubt. Seed and he keep on planting it. Seed until you do not believe the word. But if you believe and keep on planting, keep on sowing, keep on pressing, it's hard. I'm not telling you it's easy. I'm saying it is difficult. I'm saying it's not always easy, child of God. I'm saying you is not is not always going to be the way you want it. But listen to me. There is a breakthrough coming right around the corner for you. And don't give up. Press through. Press through. Let me tell you this. And I'm finished. I'm totally finished. The problem is revelation, experience, and reality. Reality tell you that life is hard. And reality is telling you, you can't make it 
it's so difficult. But experience is telling you, you've been through that before and you overcome it. But experience do not work with reality. Experience work with revelation. Ah, oh, God. The moment revelation and experience meet together is that moment revelation start to manifest in your life. Don't you follow your mind. That's I shouldn't even use reality. Your That God will make your promise 10 years ago and the devil knock you down. But know that you walk by revelation and not by situation. And the moment that the revelation of God starts to story up is the moment you go move in your calling and flow in the prophetic. God bless you. I got to go. I'm losing signal and my internet. I don't know why. I pay so much for internet. It's crazy. I'm paying over 70 something dollars just for internet alone. And I don't know why my internet is breaking up. Um, it's crazy. I think I'm getting a new computer. So I hope it's better. Um, but God bless you. 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 So, um, Next week, I hope everything is better when I get a new computer and I'm going to up, up, uh, update the software and everything. But God bless you. 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 God bless you.